Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to pass an array into a function. So first of all I'm going to create a function and then we will pass the value into it. So I'll create a function prototype up here and this is going to be a void function. It's got, not going to return any values and I'm just going to call it print Brady's. And the argument or the parameter that we're passing in is a string type of array. And we also put in the square brackets. They're, they're empty, but this will signify that we're going to be passing in an array to our function. And we'll create the actual function definition. And that's really the same as this. Except now we specify the name of the array, so we'll say this is the Brady array. And uh, then we'll put in our opening and closing curly braces. And so our print function is really going to do what this whole loop does, is to get the array and loop and print it. And now we need a function call to call our print Brady's function. So we'll say print Brady's, and we see that we're passing in a a variable for string. So we're going to pass in Brady. So let's test that and see what happens. Okay, so we have a failure and it says undeclared identifier array size. It doesn't know what the array size is. So this needs this in order to be able to do its loop. So we'll pass in the array size. And it's very common to pass in the array size it needs to know the array size when working with the array. So the type that we're passing in is an int, or constant is an int, and so we need to specify here that we have int array size, and here we have to tell it to pass in array size. All right, now let's run that. Now it succeeds because it has all the information that it needs in order to do its printout, but see the difference here is now we're passing this array into a separate function that's going to deal with something from the array. So in addition to having just the name of the array, we also have to have the size of the array. And that makes the argument all the more necessary in order to use a constant value to represent your array size so that wherever it's referring to this, we can just use array size as a constant value and just change it in one place if we decide to come back and add more values. So we can pass an array to a function by including the array's name as the actual argument. And by default, we know that scalar variables or individual variables are passed by value. Something that you should note is that arrays are passed by reference by default, which means it's not making a copy of everything that's in the array, it's sending the original values. And that would be because passing an array by value would require copying the entire array, which in this case is small, but it could in inevitably be very large and processor intensive. And when an array is passed in by reference, so passing an array in by reference allows the computer to pass the address of only the first array element. So this would be the first array element. And since the array elements are stored in contiguous memory locations, meaning they're stored all together, then it can use this first address and then it can easily locate the remaining elements in the array because they're going to be in memory locations right after the first one. So that's a basic overview of how to pass an array into a function.